today inshallah ta'ala we're going to speak about asma uh, uha the names of the salah qiyamul layl the names that it has asma uha and all of these names that we're going to give and that we're going to speak about are asma mukhtalifa the names are different mu'addaha wahida like in, it all refers to one thing okay brothers so the names are different like in Madlul, the thing that indicates, the thing that it shows is all the same. Same Salah. But they have, di- have different names. The first name that it's called is Qiyamul Layl. The first name is what? Qiyamul Layl. And the evidence for this is Ma Rawahu Tirmidi, that which Al Imam Tirmidi narrated in his Sunan, Min Haditha Abi Umama, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu, he said, Al Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal. That the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Alaykum bi qiyamil layl. Upon you is qiyamul layl. Fa innahu da'bu salihin. The qiyamul layl is the doing and the way and the path of the righteous people. Fa innahu da'bu salihin qablakum. It is the way of the pious people before you. Wa inna qiyamul layl. Verily qiyamul layl is qurbatun ila Allahi is that which gets you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is also takfirul sayyiat an expiation for your shortcomings and it is also manhatun anil ithmi it's a preventer and that which prevents you from sins this hadith now shows us that the, the salah that we pray is called what? qiyamul layl because the prophet said alaykum bi qiyamul layl upon you is what? Upon you is Qiyamul Layl. <coughs> the second name that it has is Salatul Layl. It's also called what? It's also called Salatul Layl. And the evidence for this is the hadith Al Imam Nasa'i narrated in his Sunan, Min Hadith ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked, alayhi salatu wa salam, an Salatul Layl, he was asked about the night prayer. And the Prophet said, Salatul Layl Mathna Mathna. The Prophet specifically, what did he say? Salatul Layl Mathna Mathna. The Salatul Layl is two, two, two. Abdul ibn Umar explained what it means. He means he prays two and he does taslim. And then he prays two and he does taslim. And then the Salatul Layl is how much? Two. What name did the Prophet give it? Salatul Layl. This is the second. This is the second name that we have for it. The third name is called Witr. Witr is referred to two things. Pay attention to this. Witr is called two things. One is that which we already know. Is what we pray after. We pray the even numbers, the two, 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 two. And we reach eight. And then we pray another two. And the last one that's left is called what? That last one that we do by itself is called a what? A witr. If you pray three together with one Tashahud is also called witr. And if you pray five with one tashahud, it's also called witr. Are we all together, brothers? One is called witr. Two rak'ah. Sorry, three rak'ah. So one with one tashahud is called a what? A witr. Three with the final tashahud is called a what? A witr. And five rak'ah with one last tashahud is called what? It's also called a Witr. That's the first meaning that Witr has. The evidence for those three, I have to bring it, inshallah ta'ala. As for the one, is the hadith narrated by Muslim in his Sahih that the Prophet said, Salatul Layli Mathna Mathna, that the night prayer is 222. If one of you fears, As-Subha, that the Fajr prayer is about to come in. If he fears, he's praying so much Qiyamul Layl, and he fears that the Fajr is going to come in, the Prophet said, Salla Rak'atan, he prays one Rak'ah. يُوتِرُ لَهُ And that would be a witr for him. For what? مَا قَدْ صَلَّى That which he's already prayed. So the Prophet said he prays what? One. One rak'ah. And then that one rak'ah is called a what? A witr. The three, the evidence for that is the hadith of Ubay ibn Ka'b رضي الله تعالى عنه أبو داود النساء ibn Majah narrated this that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said about him كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ يُوتِرُ بِسَبِّحِ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ الْأَعْلَى وَقُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ وَقُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ 
that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to do witr with these three. And then the statement of Ubay ibn Ka'b shows that the three rak'ah was called what? Witr. And all of it is done with what? One tashahud. The five with one tashahud, the evidence for that is the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. She said, كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يصلي من الليل. The Prophet used to pray night. ثلاثة عشر ركعة. How many ركعة would he pray? Thirteen ركعة. يوتر من ذلك. He would do witr with all of that. So here, sorry, يوتر. Sorry, he prays صلى الله عليه وسلم thirteen ركعة. Sorry, he prays how many? Thirteen. يوتر من ذلك بخمس. He would do witr with how many? Five. So he would pray 13 rak'ah and he would do witr with how many? يُوتِرُ مِنْ ذَلِكَ بِخَمْسِ لَا يَجِلْسُ فِي شَيْءٍ He would not sit in any of those five. Meaning he would only sit at the last, last rak'ah for the final tashahud. Pay attention to this now. And then the witr is how many? One, three, and what? That's one opinion. That's what one meaning for witr. Which is the odd numbers that we already know. There's another usage witr has. Which is the whole of the Qiyamul Layl is called Witr. All of it. What you just, they pray right now is called a what? Witr. What we're going to pray from the beginning to the end is all called Witr. This is based upon the hadith. Al Imam Tirmidhi Abu Dawood ibn Majah. They narrated An Kharija ibn Hudafat al Adawi. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, Kharaja alayna Rasulullah. The messenger came out. Faqala the Prophet said, Inna Allah amaddakum bi salatin. Allah favored you. Allah blessed you with what? Bisalatin a prayer. Lahiya khayru lakum min humurin na'am. Which is better for you than a red camel. The Arabs, they love the red camel. It was one of the most precious things that they had. So, the salah that Allah favored you with is better for you than a humurin na'am. Al-witru ja'alahu Allahu lakum. Allah made a witr. Allah made it a witr. This is all what? The whole prayer. Allah made it a witr. جعله الله لكم فيما بين العشاء إلى أن يطلع الفجر الله ميدا prayer which is called witr in the hadith between isha and what fajr إذن this salah all of it what did the prophet call it and Imam Tirmidhi when he brought that in his sunan when he brought that in his sunan he brought the statement of Ishaq ibn Ibrahim he said that Ishaq ibn Ibrahim and he said Ishaq ibn Ibrahim is who Ishaq ibn Ra Ishaq ibn Rahuya, the teacher of Bukhari and Tirmidhi and others. He said, إِنَّمَا مَعْنَاهُ أَنَّهُ كَانَ يُصَلِّي مِنَ اللَّيْلِ ثَلَاثَ عَشَرَ رَكْعَةً مَعَ الْوِتْرِ فَنُسِبَ صَلَاةَ اللَّيْلِ إِلَى الْوِتْرِ The whole Salatul Layli, all of it was attributed to what? All of it was attributed to what? Al-Witru. I mean, all of it was called Witr. The fourth name that it has, which is the final one, is Salatul Taraweeh. Salatul Taraweeh is not a name used by the Prophet, nor the companion used it, nor the pious predecessors, nobody used it. It's a name not used by anyone. It's a name introduced by who? The muta, the Muta'akhirin, the latecomers, the Fuqaha, they introduced it. There's nothing wrong with it. And the reason why they chose this name is Taraweeh actually comes from the jama' of the word Tarweeha, which means زوال المشقة والتعب as Al-Fuyumi mentions in his kitab Al-Misbah Al-Munir in his dictionary Taraweeh means to enjoy yourself relaxation every time you pray four rak'ah what do you do? you relax the purpose of called Salatul Taraweeh is you pray four rak'ah you relax for a little bit the Imam leads four rak'ah the people relax and then they stand up for the what? they stand up for the next four again so that's the reason why it was called <coughs> Salatu at taraweeh Then the names that we mentioned are how many? Four names. The first one is Qiyamul Layl. The second was Salatul Layl. The third one was Al Al Witr. And the fourth one was what? Al Witr was called how many things did we say? It's called two things. The first one is the odd. And the odd is how many? One, three, and five. But the condition is is that no tashahud in the three or in the so if it happens you pray two in the witr you pray two and then you pray one okay after you finish you read 
سبح اسم ربك الاعلى ان يريد قل يا اهل الكافرون ان يريد تشهد ان يستعان فقل يا اهل الكافر قل والله احد the first two as is a code witter no the last one by itself is going to be code witter because you made it to show before the ending and the second opinion is that witter is also known as what the whole of the qiyamul layl so we now finished the first chapter that we wanted to speak about the names and the evidences for it inshallah ta'ala tomorrow we're going to go into another chapter like that as i said before it's 10 to 15 minutes maximum 15 minutes that we want to take these benefits inshallah ta'ala subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik